<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Just trying to make sure that everything's set to go before I get started with the game. Um... Oh, Twitch tells me that my friend Quathrin has just started watching. Hey, guys. Oh, that's cute. Hello, Catherine. Um, but, yeah, if... Oh, okay, good. It does look like we're live. Awesome. Okay, now I can just pop out the chat, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Dragon Quest Three stream. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, DQ8... DQ8 comes out... Uh, tomorrow. Damn. Uh, yeah, DQ8 3DS comes out tomorrow, and I'm pretty excited because, well, it's it's DQ. Um, I've never played 8 before, and I've got that feeling like I'm gonna sneeze, and it's really annoying. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, I've never played DQ8 before, and I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna probably be spending most of the day tomorrow playing DQ8. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a good time. Um, hey Jack, hey Sonic Sergi, hey Hylian, hey Rocky Bear, hey Sonic Kyle. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm pumped. Um, I'm pumped for DQ8. It's gonna be a great time. Everybody I've heard says it's a, it's a great game. Um, I'm skeptical that it's truly the best Dragon Quest game, because I've got pretty high standards for those, but, you know, it'll probably be, it'll probably be very, very good, uh, regardless of whether or not it's the best. So, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just super excited, and it'll probably be a, a great time. Um, oh, uh, Donkey Kong, Robo, uh, Mert, Triforce, um, Dimos Kid. Uh, yeah, some new faces. Awesome. Um, okay, how do we get to where we're supposed to be? Um, oh, okay, hold on. I, I zoomed to the wrong location. Um, we actually want to go to No Annuals. We actually want to go to No Annuals, if I remember correctly. Yeah, a lot of people... DQ8 is the only DQ game they've played. I know it was the first one that came out in Europe, so a lot of you European people didn't get a chance to play it otherwise. Um, I really don't feel like fighting these guys. Um, do you know... Actually, I'm curious as to how good Disperse does. Oh, it only does one lame. A disperse is kind of like instant death, only you don't get experience for the for it, so that's kind of lame. But you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay, the chat's a little bit hard to read at the moment because it's kind of small on the stream. So hold on, I'm gonna up the text size a bit. Uh, 32 is probably good. There, that's a little bit more readable. Um, are you calling friends? What, you jerks? Level up! Oh, and we got a jellyfish medal. I think that's that's Man of War if you're used to the newer, um, if you're used to the newer translations. But yeah, DQ8. I'm a little bit skeptical as to whether it's truly the best Dragon Quest game, because again, if it's the only one in the series you've played, it's by you know it's the best one for you. But like I've got high standards. I love DQ4 and DQ5. They're fantastic games. So I'm not sure if I'll find DQ8 to be the best in the series, but I'm sure it's still going to be a fantastic game, and I'm just really looking forward to playing it. Um, like, from what I've seen in Dragon Quest Heroes, um, 
Jessica, Jessica and Yankus appear to be very fun characters, and uh, I, I really appreciate that um, in games. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play out in the actual story. Um, and being able to play it uh, on my 3DS is really what I'm very happy about as well, because, um, you know, part of... I honestly don't like playing RPGs on consoles very much. It's... well, not anymore at the very least. Like, I always used to play, like, Paper Mario on console, no problem. Like, that wasn't an issue for me, but if there's an option to play it on a handheld, I will go for that handheld option every time, because... It's just so comfortable to me. I can play it on the couch. I can play it in bed. And I don't mind the smaller screen size. One thing that kind of bothers me is, is that for some reason people sort of consider handhelds to be, like, lesser than consoles for some reason. Like, they're not as important, for example. Like, um... Um... I'm trying to... Like... Like, for the Fire Emblem Direct last night, they said, This is the first console Fire Emblem game to come out since 2000 and whatever with Radiant Dawn. And I'm like, okay, that's that's fine, but Awakening was still a fantastic game. I think it's the best Fire Emblem game I've played. Actually, that's a lie. Codename Steam is the best Fire Emblem game. But still, like, Fire Emblem... Oh yeah, we can't go into there until we get, um... Until we get the, the Pirates thing. Uh, but... Like, Fire Emblem Awakening was a fantastic game, and it was on handheld. It's not any less of a game for being a handheld game, you know? So, I believe the TNT board was somewhere over here? Oh, yeah, um, Catherine, um, I loved Final Fantasy VII. Like, I wasn't expecting to like that game nearly as much as I did, um, because... You know, there's a lot of hype for that game, and, you know, it's the best RPG ever made. And I still ended up loving it. Like, it wasn't, it's st not my favorite Final Fantasy. My favorite Final Fantasy is still Final Fantasy IV. Um, but, you know, I still loved the game. So, you know, I'm sure the same thing will happen to it with eight. Even though I, even if I don't think it's the best Final Fantasy, I'm s probably still going to enjoy it. Oh, crap, I am not anywhere close to where I'm supposed to be. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, alright. How am I supposed to... I don't even remember, but if I'm in this area anyway, I might as well try to find the... Um, oh, I remember why I held off on going over here. I hate this area. <laughs> uh, well, if I'm here, I might as well try to go for the... Um, for the Leaf of the World Tree. Yeah, that's why I hate this area. These goddamn witches always casting um, whack... The best Final Fantasy is 10 2, obviously. Oh, man. You're so right. Man. My Wii U just turned on. We're celebrating all things Mario with some of the greatest hits. Okay, that's great, but I probably already own every Mario game you've got on sale, so no thanks. <laughs> um, uh. Uh. Okay, let's kill you, um... No, actually, the old hag is more important to kill than the armors. Uh, we'll do another sort, uh, snowstorm, and... Actually, you heal yourself, uh, whack. I don't trust you to not die. Oh, I should, I should apologize in advance if I, like, get kind of sniffly or uh, sneeze a lot during this playthrough. I am kind of dealing uh, with allergies at the moment. Um, we've been doing a lot of work in my room. Like, I got, uh, we got some furniture from Ikea, so I got a new dresser, I got a stand for some games, um... My bed, my bed stand actually needed to be rebuilt. Um, and we keep a lot of Christmas decorations in here as well. So, basically, we've been moving stuff around all over the place, and the dust that got kicked up has been killing me for, like, weeks. So, um... 
yeah, I apologize in advance for that. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit annoying to, you know, hear me sn sniffling and snuffling the entire time, but, uh, it's, yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that in advance. I think these grizzlies are susceptible to sleep. Okay, no, I was wrong. Oh, sweet, we got rid of the mini-demon right away. Uh, those guys actually can cast things- Oh, they're unaffected by snow, too? I would've thought that bears would've been susceptible to- Well, I guess they've got fur, <laughs> so... <laughs> ah, I remember why I hate this place. I remember exactly why I hate this place. Okay, you're getting firebaned. Um, where's he more? Um... Uh, should I go for heal more or something like surround? No, heal more, definitely. Oh, they're just pretty. They're just not vulnerable to magic at all. Oof, that's bad. Okay. All right, you heal yourself because <laughs> I think Sia can survive one hit. Okay, good. I made the right call. Um, okay. Well, oh, we'll level up. Hopefully you learn a spell. You learn defense. Okay, that's good. I think that's Kasap <coughs> in the modern lingo. Three, four, five. Okay, so we were told earlier in the game that we're supposed to look in the middle of four mountains in this continent. And that's where we would find the world leaf, which is, in the modern translation, a Yggdrasil leaf. And if you're more familiar with other Final Fan with other RPGs like Final Fantasy, um, basically it's a Phoenix Down. The difference is that you can only have one with you at any given time in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, you're only allowed to have like one. <laughs> so they're a lot rarer than in other games, which is why, like, one thing about Dragon Quest. Is, is that death is punished a lot harder than in games like Final Fantasy. Uh, in Final Fantasy, death is just an inevitability. You're going to die uh, a lot, but they don't really punish you for it. Like, you can buy Phoenix Downs and Droves in nearly every game. Um, you learn life. You learn... Okay, hold on a moment. I gotta close down some programs because I'm de my computer's detecting high CPU. And I'm not going to be using... I guess you just heard me turn Skype off, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be using Skype or or whatever, so... Yeah, but basically, the World Leaf... We're not going to be using this because it's a little bit too precious. So, it's going... It's basically going into our bag until we get into a difficult boss fight. Thankfully, you can always go back to that spot and get another one. So, it's not like a one-time thing. You can always go back to the world tree and pick up another one. It's just that you have very limited quantities of them. Unless if you're playing Dragon Quest VII. Because in Dragon Quest VII, you got like... Eight Yggdrasil leaves. Like, you get, that game bled Yggdrasil leaves. And you got like six Yggdrasil dews, which are essentially me mega elixirs. You had like 12 of those by the final boss. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, I have no idea where the where the TNT boards are, so uh, hold on a moment while I look it up on the on the on the strategy wiki because I just straight up do not remember where these things are supposed to be, and I want to be able to not waste too much time. So, uh, table of contents. Sorry about this, I know that this isn't the most exciting thing, but... Okay, here we are, Pachisi Track. I hate the name Pachisi Track, Treasures and Trapdoors is just so much cooler. Uh... Anyway, while I'm waiting for the... For the page to load, because it's being really stupid, I hope you guys are enjoying Catherine and I's Dragon Quest Heroes playthrough. It has been so much fun to record, and... Some crazy stuff happens, so... Okay, Pachisi Track 2. It needs to be... It's north of the... Okay, hold on a moment. Yeah, I had the right idea! What the heck? Okay, yeah, it's... The Jail Shrines to the... Um, hmm. 
Oh, I was supposed to just go up and around. Ah, okay. I remember what I need to do now. Okay, so... We still need to zoom to no annuals, so let's cast return. Um... Oh yeah, I should probably keep the chat up so I can know... Um... What people are talking about. DQ9 uses Yggdrasil leaves as crafting material? Oh, man. That's... Oof. That Those stuff better be worth it then <laughs> to, to make. That's actually one thing that I'm really interested in Dragon Quest VIII for, is the... Um, uh, the alchemy system. Out of everything, that's probably the thing I want to mess around with the most. Because I... That feel when you cast Repel, and then you're stuck with an enemy encounter literally three step later. Uh, okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the Heroes playthrough is insane. Me and Catherine have a blast recording every time we turn the game on. It's just awesome. Um... I think we're about at the halfway point in that game. At the very least, if the game follows traditional Dragon Quest leveling, um, usually you end a Dragon Quest game, at least from like 4 or 5 up. You tend to end Dragon Quest games in the 40s or so, and we're in the mid to late 20s. So we're probably about at the halfway point, maybe a little bit farther than that, so... Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to in that playthrough. Uh, Demos Kid, Fire Emblem Direct. Uh... Honestly, the whole thing was very underwhelming for me. Um, I'll start with the good first, because I don't want to make it seem like I hated everything they showed. Um, Fire Emblem Echoes actually looks really cool. Um, it kind of makes sense to do a remake with the engine that you just have sitting around otherwise. So, and I think remaking Gaiden actually was a smart choice, because as far as I can tell, I'm not huge into old Fire Emblem, but... Apparently, Gaiden was really weird and wonky and hard to go back to. So, in that sense, it's one of the better ones to remake. Because it makes it more accessible to newer players. So, like, I never would have bothered with a fan translation of Gaiden. Like, ever. Because it's just too cumbersome. I just, I would not care. I do not care enough to to try that. So, you know, I, I just, I wouldn't have bothered. Um... But, um, you know, with the remake where they're seemingly updating things, and, like, the dungeon crawling and town stuff, that looks cool. So, I probably will give Echoes a shot. That looks nice. I don't think I'll bother with the Amiibo, though. At least until after I play the game and I realize... And if I, if I like, like Alm and Cecilia, or whatever the hell her name is, if I end up liking these characters, I might get the Amiibo, but... You know, it's kind of the double-edged sword where you don't know if you like the characters until after you play the game, and by the time you play the game, the Amiibos are probably going to be gone because it's Fire Emblem, and, you know, they make, like, three of each <laughs> figure. Um, so, yeah, Echoes, that looks cool. Um, I am totally on board with that. As for everything else, um, I can't get excited for the Switch Fire Emblem game because I don't know what it's... I don't know anything about it. You know, it's just, oh, there's going to be a Fire Emblem game on Switch. And, you know, I could have probably assumed that. It's not showing me anything about it. Makes it hard for me to get excited. Because it's just like, oh, Fire Emblem on Switch. What are we going to see? You don't get to see anything right now, but it's totally coming out next year. I, I doubt it's going to come out in 2018. Um, so, yeah, I can't get excited for a game I can't see. Um, as for Fire Emblem Warriors, I'm totally on board with the idea... It's just, what they showed? Why did they have to hold that off, you know? Why couldn't... Why did you have to hold off 20 seconds of Krom slicing dudes from the Switch event last week? There's no reason to have not shown that to everybody during that event. I thought that by delaying Fire Emblem Warriors for the, uh, for the Direct, 
meant that we were going to be seeing, like, at least a handful of characters, some idea of the plot, a good idea of what's going on, you know? I thought that that's what we were going to get with that presentation, and instead, you know, it's just 20 seconds of Chrome Slicing Dudes, and that would have, honestly, showing that during the Switch presentation would have made Fire Emblem Warriors look a lot more exciting, <laughs> you know, at that point. Like, if they had just shown what they, uh, if they had just shown Fire Emblem, that Fire Emblem Warriors trailer that we got at the Fire Emblem Direct at the Switch event, I would have been way more excited for Fire Emblem Warriors in general than if, than what they did, which was show the brief teaser at the Switch event, say, we're totally showing more at the Fire Emblem Direct, and then, you know, only showing like 10 more seconds. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm... Fire Emblem Warriors is probably going to be a fun game. You know, I'm probably going to get it, and I'm probably going to play it way more than I feel like I should. You know, that should just be obvious at this point. But... It was a bad presentation, uh, I will say. And Fire Emblem Heroes just looks really trashy. <laughs> Fire Emblem on mobile just looks lame, honestly. It looks really, really lame. <laughs> uh, it's like... It's the cheapest, it, it just looked really cheap, like, a 6x8 grid for fights with, like, maybe three enemies per battle, really? That, how do you strategize around that? That's ridiculous, it's tiny. And, you know, it's got all of those free-to-play, it's got all of the t traditional free-to-play things, like, oh, you gotta buy a ton of orbs using microtransactions, otherwise you're never going to get anybody you want. And it's all random anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not going to bother. I'm not playing Fire Emblem Heroes because it just looks bad. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'll enjoy playing it and I'm not going to get it. So, yeah. Catherine, I want to make sure that you note that I'm being very critical of Nintendo right now, which I very rarely do. So, you know, just, just so you say... Just so you can't say I'm never critical of Nintendo, I was just very critical of Nintendo. So, yeah. Um... Wanted, wanted to rub that in your face a little bit. I'm capable of being non-biased occasionally. But yeah, the Direct, I was severely underwhelmed. I don't want to make it seem like I'm down on Echoes, though. That game looks great. I'm probably going to enjoy that game a lot. But everything else? Eh. Also, Warrior... I, I should also stress, Warriors will probably be a good game. Its presentation was bad, though. So yeah. It, it, Catherine, okay, Catherine, I will say it's not quite FF All the Bravest bad. Um, you know, that's maybe stretching it a little bit, but hold on, I need to pull up the map for the, for the board. Um, it's not quite Final Fantasy All the Bravest bad, but it looks pretty bad to me, <laughs> pretty much, so yeah. Um, oh, you're proud of me, Senpai noticed me, yeah! Okay, uh... Oh, Robo, Catherine's probably not gonna get a Switch anytime soon. She's very cynical about it. I personally am pretty excited. I think it'll be a good console. Although, part of what helps with that is, is that there's a lot of games on it that appeal to me specifically. Um, you know, stuff like SMT and, um... SMT, Splatoon, um... Mario Odyssey looks awesome. Stuff like that. Bomberman! Bomberman's my background now. I love it. So, yeah, um, I've actually been playing Bomberman DS, um, a lot again. That's the only Bomberman game I've played seriously before. Um, my cousin actually owns, uh, Bomberman 64. Um, before I owned a, six, a Nintendo 64, um, my, I, the way I played it the most was, uh, during the summer, my cousin had a N64, and I played it at his place a lot, um... And the games I played were uh, Smash Brothers, Ocarina of Time, and Bomberman 64 were the, the games that I played. Um, actually, it's kind of weird. I remember playing Ocarina of Time, and I remember getting... Oh, I, they dropped an agility seed. That's nice. Um, but yeah, um, like I remember playing Ocarina of Time uh, then, so I guess it's... Oh, come on. Really? Really, game? Ugh. Ah, trapdoor, uh, oh no, I lose, so sad. Um, but yeah, I remember not liking much of Ocarina of Time when I played it at his place, um, because 
what I always, I always, like, I think he let me play after, like, the beginning of the game, but after the Deku Tree. And so, like, I think what he let me do was he let me, like, explore Hyrule Field, and he was like, you're supposed to go to this castle town. And so I w would walk directly to the castle town, and the doors would always shut right before I could get there because it's nighttime. And that's all I remember of Ocarina of Time as a kid, and it frustrated the shit out of me. I know you can make it before night falls, but you have to do, like, the side hopping trick or something. Um, and it's just, eh. If you want to talk about games that I feel didn't live up to the hype, Ocarina of Time's one of them. Ooh, I landed on this pot. Oh, I've, I guess I've already landed on the pot before. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I've played Ocarina of Time 3D. It's the same game, you know? It looks nicer, but it's the same game, and it has all the same issues. The chasm to void, a massive pit swallows you. I hate TNT. I hate it. It is stupid. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I want to save because we got a we got an agility seed, but we're doing the um, we're doing the. Uh, we're safes coming, basically, because I don't feel like wasting all of my tokens here, so we're going to save scum. <laughs> Hylian Highwind, I liked, uh, um, you're not alone, I liked Twilight Princess much more than... Ocarina of Time. I felt like it was much more interesting to play, basically. The dungeons were better. Um, I found the story much more interesting. Um, and yeah, it was just a better game. I know that it's not like as revolutionary or whatever, but, you know, we're not in 1998 anymore, so... Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get it on the Switch, Shadow. Um, like, it's... Honestly, like, I'm, I'm sure Breath of the Wild is gonna be a good game. I'm not really as, like, orgasmic about it as some are. But it's probably gonna be a very fun game. Um, so, since I want to get a Switch anyway, I figure I might as well play it on that. Although, really, I'm... More excited for Bomberman's uh, Bomberman R than um, than Breath of the Wild because Bomberman R just I'm so happy to see Bomberman. He's like he's so cute and uh, like all of the different Bombermen have different have different designs and they're adorable. It's oh man, Bomberman just looks awesome. Um, there's a sleepy Bomberman and a happy Bomberman and an angry Bomberman. It's gonna be great. That's actually something that I'm going to want to try to browbeat Catherine into playing with me is Bomberman R's story mode. Because there's apparently like a lot of, um, there's apparently a lot of cutscenes in the game too. Like, uh, every time. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, there's apparently a lot of cutscenes in the game too. Uh, and so, and Bomberman is just so much fun to play with a friend. Um, because you always accidentally blow each other up and it's hilarious. Um. But it's also, I think, a game that I think she would enjoy. Hopefully. You know, sometimes I show Catherine a game that she, I think she might enjoy and she doesn't enjoy it. So, you know, sometimes that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it and um, I would love to do a playthrough of that. So, yeah. Because right now I'm playing through um, Bomberman DS. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. Um, uh, but... I had Bomberman DS as a kid, 
um, because, like, it was, like, eight-player multiplayer, and I was like, oh my gosh. No, it's not just eight-player multiplayer. It's eight-player multiplayer, and you get the full... Everybody can enjoy the full experience, even with just one copy of the game. So, I was the only one who had Bomberman, but, um, I played that with my cousins all... Like, it came out in, like, 2005. Or so, I played that with my cousins all summer. It was a blast. Bomber... Uh, literally. <laughs> um, but Bomberman DS was awesome. Because, like, I, all of us had DSs, and we all loved playing it together. It was just so much fun. Um, it's chaotic. Um, it's chaotic, but there's still a layer of strategy to it. It's just... It's so good. Um, I did not mean to walk on the ground there. The thing about Bomberman DS, though, is, is that its story mode is very, very long. Um, there's a hundred levels. Um, and I think if you, like, look at the SNES Bombermans, they're... I've never played them, but I've done some research in the meantime. And their campaigns are, like, I think, roughly half the length. <laughs> so it is a bit it is a bit long for what it needs to be, but... Since I've been playing it my whole life, and I've never been able to get past, like, the first <laughs> the first world, um, I really wanted to beat it before I played Bomberman Switch. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm on, like, World 6 at the moment. I really want to beat it. And then maybe I'll play some of the other ones, like, on Virtual Console or, or whatever in the meantime. I still really want to play... I really want to play Bomber the 64 Bombermans because, again, if you want to talk about a game from my childhood... Um, like, that was a game I never understood how to play as a kid when I was playing it at my cousin's place. Have I gotten to this dresser before? Uh, apparently not, since we got a turban. But, yeah. Uh, like, I'd play the first level and ha I had no idea what to do and I got confused very easily. Three, two, one. So, that, I want to play, that's Bomberman 64, I believe, and not Bomberman Hero. So yeah, I really want to play that. Um, welcome to my inn. Isn't it tiring traveling alone? You know, whatever. But yeah, um, so I do want to beat Bomberman 64 one day as well. Um, because that's just a game that I want to see more of. Bomberman Hero also looks very interesting as well. Because it's like a platformer. Um, one, two, three... Four, five, six. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, this is one of the harder ones, so hopefully I don't get too... <laughs> too... Hopefully I don't get too owned here. What?! Come on, wake me up. Come on, wake me up. Please don't kill me. Come on, please don't kill me. Well, that was fair. Okay, the sound's really wigging out on my end, so hold on just a moment. I'm gonna remove Elgato capture for just a second, and then I'm gonna add it back in, and usually that that fixes this issue, because it's actually popped up for me a couple of times before. Um, Elgato just takes a moment to recognize on XSplit, so it's gonna... Huh, it's still acting weird. Um... Oh, now it's better! Alright, um... Alright, now I just need to fix the screen size. Oh, that's probably why I'm streaming at 60 FPS for something, for some reason. And it's using... Okay. It's using... Okay, that probably explains what's going on. Alright. I need to make sure that I'm healed up. Yeah, I am. Okay. Thankfully, you don't lose any money or experience if you die in Pachisi, so... 
That's nice. My luck today is terrible. There's a Bomberman 2 on DS? What? I never knew that. Um, no, I haven't. Oh, it's happening again. What the hell? Okay, it seems to be... It seems to be mostly better now, so... Okay, so the reason why I'm streaming at such a much higher frame rate than normal and a much higher resolution is, is that I was using XSplit to record other stuff that I ended up having to scrap, unfortunately. Um, but I was doing a local recording, and I ended up having to... Um, and I just I forgot to change the settings back. So normally I do these in 720p, so that because that's just easier for my computer to handle. <laughs> um, 720p 30. Come on, roll a three. Roll a three. Yeah! Power belts. Cool. I don't know what that does. <laughs> um. You're not allowed to lower the resolution while you're streaming, so I'm kind of just stuck like this, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, uh. You know what? This run, these runs are just dead already. I might as well just reset. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know we got the the power belt, but I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, we got to reset. How high is my bitrate? Hold on. Let me check. My bitrate's like 1250. It's not my bitrate. It's mo It's probably, you know, it's probably, it's not the connection, because I'm hearing the really garbly music in my headphones. It's, it's Elgato being weird. It happens every once in a while. This entire stream is going to be screwing up in TNT. Which honestly is what it's like normally when you play the game. So... Eh. Okay. Repel is supposed to repel monsters, not bring them to me. Oh my god, I am not fighting you. I said I'm not fighting you. My party should be more than a high enough level to not need to fight the traditional ocean enemies. Like, there are some stronger ones, like the squids. But other than those, like... I guess technically these mermen are stronger than the other mermen, but, like, we're still taking care of them, no problem. Like, even my mages can take care of one, you know? So, yeah.
Bar boy Catherine is a chemistry student, a, a graduate student, I should say. Um, so she's often very busy. She might be listening, um, but she often is doing work. She's in her lab at the moment doing work, so she's probably not able to type into the to the Twitch chat. So yes, I know we need a hashtag get Catherine out of lab, but um, while we are unable to do that at the moment, she's likely listening, just not able to type at the moment because she's doing dangerous things with dangerous chemicals. Ah, uh, bomb crags. Oosh. These things make me nervous. Um, I don't know why they call them bomb crags. Rock bomb is just a better name. But whatever. They've got a stupid amount of HP, though, as you can tell. Like, we just did 180 damage on them. And, like, like 300 damage on them. And nothing, you know? So, yeah. Um, do we have Blizzard in? Nope, we just got Snowstorm. Okay. But yeah, uh, they make you really make me really nervous because they don't attack. They just sit there watching, and they have like a really low chance of casting. I don't know what they call it in this one, but it's called kamikaze in other games where you um, where you sacrifice yourself and you do a lot of damage to to all of the enemies in return, and it just it makes me really nervous to see them. Uh, I, she's. I, she does okay at organic chemistry, Waru Boy, not biochemistry. I know they sound similar, but I believe they're different. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to get anybody confused about that. Oh, Alolan, the Alolan Geodude line is really strange. Like, uh, <laughs> the facial hair just kind of seems a little out there for me, personally. You know, not a fan, but, you know, I was glad to see it because they had kept one secret, you know? Like, all of the, Alol all of the Pokemon from Sun and Moon were shown off before the game came out, and, you know, just that they managed to keep one hidden made it, um, really something for me. Like, actually, when I was playing the game, I got all the way to the Elite Four, and I was fighting Acerola. Um, and she had a Delmice. I had not seen that Pokemon before then, because you, you can't run into it before her, basically. I mean, you can, but it's very, very rare, you know? Um, where is Blaze? Blazemore? Uh, Blaze, bang. There's Blaze Boar. There we are. But you're not going to run in. You're generally not going to run into it unless if you just happen to fish at the at the Pony Village. Um, not ponies, as in like at the Pony Island Village, the 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 one with the the roamers, basically. If unless if you fish there like a million times, you're not going to see a Delmise before that point. So like I see her in the um, I see it in the middle of the um. In the middle of the Elite Four fight, and I was like, what the fuck is that? So, yeah, um, it was just really nice to be surprised by a Pokemon, you know? Um, I, I wish that they had shown, like, half of the Pokemon that they ended up showing in preview events, because, like, especially all of the Ultra Beasts, too. That's something where I think that they would have gotten a way better return if they held off on those, you know? Because they're, especially since their designs are so out there. That they want to make, the, you know, once you see one, you'd be like, holy shit, you know? I don't even know if these standard versions of the rock bombs can explode, actually. They might be just there to waste your time. Okay. Let's try this again! So generally, my rule for TNT resetting is, um, how many do I have? I've got six. Is basically give it two tries each reset, and then if you don't get anything good, then give it two tries, and if you don't get anything good in those two tries, then reset. So, yeah. Like, I know we got the power belt last time, but I just did not feel it was worth it. Because tokens are hard to come by in this game. 
in games like Dragon Quest V, they they hemorrhage tokens on you. You get TNT tokens like every other minute. But in this game, they're much more rare. So I will make real your wishes. Your next destiny will be by choice. The next roll can be chosen. Yay! Awesome. That's great. Um. So is there a one, two, three, four? If if there's a treasure chest over here, um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. If there's a treasure chest and a or a um. Ah, I can't manipulate it so that I... Alright, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna choose a five and go left. Um... Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, hopefully I roll anything but a three here. Actually, that's probably the best thing I could have rolled. Uh, Catherine, you were just talking about how you should totally not be in lab right now. <sighs> this game hates me. It hates me. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Monster battle. <sighs> oh, I probably should have... Yep, I should have gone for the jellyfish first. <laughs> Peter, I really... I have an excuse to be salty for that one, you know? You can't blame me, you know? <laughs> oh, Catherine, leave the stream! Leave the stream! Your bad luck! No! Serious, seriously, don't leave the stream. We'll miss you. One, two, three... Okay, there we go. We got another dice roll, at the very least. Okay. One, two... No, I don't want to... Um, just in case we haven't gotten on this vase, which we have. Okay. Come on, five. Six! Even better! You are bad luck. I am not checking you. <laughs> I kind of wanted to land on the shop, because there's actually... You can buy some really good things in TNT shops. Sometimes stuff that you can't get anywhere else other than, like, rare drops. So... I actually kind of like it, but it's not worth resetting over and over again to get it. Flashy clothes! Oh, that's awesome. That sells for a ton of money. I mean, we're doing fine on money at the moment, but still. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm bit. I'm getting. I know that you can sometimes get good stuff by checking underfoot. After that uh, trap door, though, I am not having any of that. <laughs> Oh, but Catherine, Catherine, when you do the Stark Raving Mad TNT board, at that point you've got the TNT pass and you can do it over and over again. At that point, it's actually worth doing because you can find really, really good stuff on the ground in late game TNT boards, like Hella Hammers and other things. It's how you get tons and tons of money. Catherine, what do you think the square with the giant skull on it does? <laughs> Oof, these guys are actually pretty tough. Um, <laughs> run away! Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't kill me again. Please don't kill me again. <sighs> Come on. Please don't. Oh, good, one of them had mercy. Oh, thank God. Oh, phew. Okay, I do not want to lose again. One, two, three. Ooh, another tra chest. Okay. Found a dagger. Okay. Deborah can use the Hella Hammer. 
Um, Catherine Sancho can use the Hello Hammer. Why don't you use Sancho? One, two, three, four, five. Reset. Why bother? You know, again, we got a flashy clothes, but all that's good for us is money. You know, we can't get anything else from that because we're not using a, we're not using a goof off. So, like, why bother? So, <sighs> yeah, Sancho can use the hell hammer. A few monsters can too. Like, the best metal-killing team is, like, Debra, Sancho, and I think, like, oh, I forget what can use. I think, like, maybe one of the orcs can use it. I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the brownies could use it either. Um, just so that I can save MP for when we're actually on the board, let's go sleep at Mom's house. Oh, you recruited a Metal Slime Highland? Wow, I'm impressed. Those guys are r stupid rare. <laughs> um, it's like, what, a 1 in 256, I believe one of them is? I know that, I think one of them might actually be 1 in 512. I'm not sure about that, though. See, it's casting Repel that gets me into fights on the ocean. Not bothering. <laughs> yeah, fight against, like, ten sea slimes? No thanks. Is this the... Nope, not... You think I'd remember this, seeing as this is, like, the fourth time we've done this at this point. 1 and 256, okay. Well, I know that they get even... I know that they get even lower than that if you, um... I know that they get even lower than that if you... Oh, uh, what's it called? Um... If you're trying to go for doubles. Because, like, I think you can get it all the way up to, like, 1 and 10, 24. Um... If you're going for, like, double King Metal Slime or something to that effect. It gets pretty ridiculous. Yeah, the sailing music is nice. Um, I don't know. A lot of the ocean music for Dragon Quest doesn't really stick with me very much. Honestly, the the best sailing music in any game I've played is the surf theme from Pokemon Gold's Cr Silver Crystal. Um, it's kind of hard to sing it when something else is playing, but it's like, um, it's just it's great. I love it. Yeah, 1 in 1024 for doubles. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you, Catherine. Oh no, the Avengers are attacking. Uh, it's now Storm. Yeah, the Avengers, they don't sleep on the job. Please don't correct me. Oh, uh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Oh. oh. Yeah, Hylian, I, I remember seeing that when I was looking uh, looking up the monster recruitment for when we were doing the, the Dragon Quest V discussion. That's just, it's bizarre. I mean, granted, monster recruitment is probably the weakest aspect of Dragon Quest V, but still. It's just weird.
Well, at the very least, um, Game Freak. At the very least. We'll be able to play 10 and 11. Because Switch is region free. Thank Christ. But, just because it's region free, does that just because we'll be able to play it, that doesn't mean we'll be able to understand it. <laughs> you know? I really want a localization of those games. Because... Like, I don't want to have to play a game in Japanese, you know? I don't understand a lick of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, oof, these guys look annoying. I'm going to run away. I also believe that if you try to run away, less enemies attack. So this actually might be the best way to go. If I'm running into enemies that are too tough. One, two, three, four, free money. Awesome. Yeah, it was it was confirmed region free at the Switch event last week. One, two, oh god, that's what the experience is the basis of all. Your accents shall make you grow. Oh, sweet. That's nice of them. Too nice. One, I don't want to lose money. Two, sure, we'll go this way. One, two, three. Oh, these are just down miragers. I can take care of these guys. Uh, that's, that's really annoying, Game Freak. Yeah, um, it's basically been confirmed that it's a rights issue with Koji Sujiyama as company in... Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, there we go. Um, it's been basically confirmed that it's a rights issue with Koichi Sujiyama's company in Japan. It was the same thing with Dragon Quest VII as well, and it's really annoying. Um, I don't need to stay here. But yeah, it's a shame. I know that for people who mod their 3DSs, there's already an orchestral music mod for... three. There's already an orchestral music mod for 7. Uh, there's probably going to be one for 8 as well. But I don't think I'll mind too much. It's just a shame that we're getting an inferior version. You know, musically. Because that's just all it is. It's a worse version of the game. Um, do I have heal more? I don't. Okay, well, we're going to run away then. Oh god, I really hope I don't get trapped in this cycle again. The you roll four, you go back four cycle, which happens in like every dragon every time I play TNT. Come on. Let me run this time, please. It's a f it's like 20%, 50%, 75%, and then confirm. And then like a confirmed run. I believe is how it works in this game. Um Unless if the enemies are too weak for you to even bother with, then I believe they just auto-confirm it, but come on, two. Oh, oh, you know what? That's even better. The number of right remaining dice rolls roll, rose by one. Awesome. One, two, three. <sighs> Alright, well, that was my first shot. Oh, no! I still get a play! Holy shit. I mean, I'm not going to win, but I might as well see what stuff I can get. This game hates me. This game just hates me.
What the hell? Well, if that's the case, Catherine, at least someone's getting some enjoyment out of it. <laughs> so at this point, I'm determined to win because we're not letting the game we're not letting the game beat us. Come on, three. Okay, there we go. I haven't in a while, Shadow. Picture spring, may the goddess of fortune bless you. Oh, stat up, yeah! Luck rose by four, okay, maybe... Okay, maybe we're actually... Gonna get a little bit luckier, who knows. Or we could roll two ones in a row, that's also a possibility. Oh, mini demons. Uh, uh, well, they're called demonites in this one, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, so much for that. Yeah, so much for being more lucky. Uh... This game's gonna be the death of me. <laughs> I'll pass, uh, Lucky. Thanks. You know, I just wish that it was a little bit more like, um... Because in game, in, like, Dragon Quest V... Most of the uh, TNT boards were actually pretty close to a save point. This is a sizable trip, so I just kind of wish it was a little bit closer. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing I would have liked. One to bread. We are doing terribly in treasures and trapdoors. <laughs> Basically, that's this entire stream. Uh, pretty much is me failing. I kind of wanted to get doing other stuff, but apparently we're not allowed to have nice things at the moment. So we just get to keep on doing TNT. I hope for my sake that the reward is worth it. It usually is. That's kind of why, even though it's annoying, you really want to get. TNT done out of the way, get TNT done and over with as soon as as soon as you find it, because the longer you wait, the worse the reward is going to be. You know, like let's say the TNT reward is a sword that is five better than your normal sword. You know, well if you say, "Oh, this is annoying," I'll come back in ten hours. Then you know, by that point, the sword is probably on par, or maybe even worse than what you can buy in shops. So, that's why you want to get it done ASAP, but, you know, it just kind of results in you needing to either deal with not getting the bonus, or you have to deal with not with being annoyed at TNT. <laughs> so, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. At least the, Catherine, at least the two easier ones had, had save points right nearby, you know? And by the time you get to the last one, you don't need to save scum anymore. Because, um, you get the, um, oh yeah, you also had the broken quick save in DQ5. Uh, <laughs> in all of the, in all of the mobile, in all of the handheld DQ games, except for these ones, 
you can abuse the quick save. Uh, but it, this is the only game where they erase the quick save after you load it, like you're act, like the game's supposed to. So you can't abuse it in this game, unfortunately. Um, uh, I bet you they keep it in Dragon Quest VIII too. One, two, three, four. Well, Hot Shots Golf is basically just Mario Golf. Um, so, you know, get Mario Golf World Tour. That game's fantastic. I love World Tour. It's probably my favorite Mario Golf game. Even more than uh, Toadstool Tour on GameCube. That game's great, too, but World Tour was amazing. I loved that. I played hundreds of hours of that that summer. Um... It's one of the best Mario sports games for me, period, so... Okay. Uh, no, I don't need to equip. Oh, I got a flea on the first try that time! How about that? Yeah, that's a little trick I learned, I think, in DQ5, is if you're in a battle on, t on a TNT board with easy enemies, that's your time to, to heal. <laughs> because you can't actually heal in between uh, battles on TNT, so... <sighs> okay, phew. Oh, Mario Strikers is also great. I want a real Mario Strikers sequel. And, no, this this space is cursed. I'm not looking under there. Um, Mario Strikers is great, and I want a real sequel. And the fact that that 3DS sports compilation is just throwing in boring soccer instead of making a real... Uh, boring soccer and boring baseball, too. It's just like, make a real Mario baseball and a real Mario Strikers. That's all I want. <laughs> Oh, Catherine, that's terrible. Yeah. I hate the gas, too. Oh! Catherine. Catherine, why do you say these things? Why? Why? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, mini metal. Awesome. Oh yeah, the the that's what I was talking about. The Dragon Quest V TNT boards are awesome because like you can go like there's the the little mini games where you can get like a whole, all sorts of great stuff. It's just it's a lot more fun than these ones, <laughs> basically. Also, getting way more tokens helps a lot with that because you know, like you might get like 30 total in this game, and I ended. I ended Dragon Quest V with, like, 50 surplus, so... One, two, three, four... Oh, thank Christ! Okay, no, we're not risking it this close to the end. Okay, so we need a one, two, three, four, five... We need a six to win. Come on, come on, big money, big money. Yes! Oh, thank God! Bum, 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 bum... We did it! Oh, thank God, we did it. Okay, now you actually have to make sure to pick up your treasure. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to do the whole thing all over again. Dragon Whip. Agility Seed. <sighs> thank Christ. That took forever. Yeah, that took over an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, so first off, let's use the agility seed on Whack. Because you're our main healer. Um. Is this really all we get for this? <sighs> 
whatever, it's done. It's done. Okay. Oh, J Rush, I wanna. Yes, I know. We're saving right now. <laughs> Catherine, we're saving right now. Um, uh, but, uh, J Rush, I want to keep streaming. I, I do. I actually meant to stream, like, weeks and weeks ago. It just never. I never got the chance to do it. Like, over. Like, in the weeks after Christmas, I wanted to stream so many times, and I just never got the chance to do it. Um. So, yeah, um, I want to keep on doing these. I want to beat Dragon Quest. I want to beat Dragon Quest, uh, 3. And we're, like, one session away from beating Yoshi. Uh, so we need to finish that, too. I want to keep streaming. It's something I want to be able to do consistently. It's just, um, I have not been in a situation where I can do it consistently. Lately. And that's a shame. So, I'm gonna try to change that, but it'll take a little bit. So, thank you all for bearing with me on that. Okay. Yes! <sighs> okay. Now what do we do? Alright, hold on a moment. Okay. Let's take a look at the table of contents and see what I should do next. Okay, because we've already got the ship. Uh, we already got the echoing flute. Um... Uh, we already did this. I want to do Newtown later. Um, let's go to the Pirate's Den next. Uh, the Pirate's Den is in the South American continent, so right to the right. We actually have not exploded, explored, exploded. Well, we, we actually, yes, we haven't exploded it, and that's good for us. Um, later, Game Freak. Thank you for stopping by. Um, But yeah, let's go to the Pirate's Den. That'll be fun. Um, yeah. Because I don't want to... I want to keep on going. I want to, like, play the actual game. movie the Kong movie is good uh, item bolt staff I think the bolt staff just casts firebane for free so yeah no I need to cast it anymore I don't know why I was even bothering I, gu I guess I just forgot that I had it because I never knew that the bolt staff existed until I watched the speedrun of the game so yeah Everyone's leaving me. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Is this the pirates? Yeah, this is the pirates den. It's hold to a crew of pirates. I'd stay away if I were you. So, if we go to the pirates house, which is like right here, and we play the echoing flute. Uh, we can hear that there was an echo, so that means that there is indeed a, um, there is indeed a, uh, a orb here. I, I remember this was one of the ones that took me a while to figure out how to get, because you actually have to come back at night, I think, and I was afraid of coming in here because I thought that I would have to fight people. Um, hold on a moment, I, while the pirates are gone, I want to raid, <laughs> I want to raid this place, especially now that we've got the final, um, Especially now that we've got the final key. I'm just checking the flowers, because that's where the game likes to hide money metals. So, yeah. Um...
Oh, I thought we would be able to examine that map. Oh, well. Anything in here? Nope. We'll go downstairs in a moment. Um, I can't actually remember if we... Oh, thanks, game. Thanks for the token. Really appreciate that. Oh, uh, boy. There's only one more TNT um, track left that we're going to bother doing, so... Um, you know, it's good to have them at the very least. Okay. Alright, hold on. We need to do some... Uh, we need to do some item management here. Okay, there we go. Um... Okay. <laughs> All right, tube socks. Um... All right, you can go in the bag there. Dear tube socks. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I think we have to free this guy? Oh, well, there's a mini-med in here. Hey, Rungra! Nice to see you. The pirates come home at night. Well, gee, thanks for letting me know that. Um, you're not gonna be thankful that I let you out of jail? Whatever. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for, for night, so... Walking around in circles, cause... Okay, these shamans are really annoying, so we're gonna take care of those first. Um... I do need to play Dragon Quest VI again. Um... Because I never finished it. I got to the final boss, and my party setup was so bad that I literally could not win unless if I grinded a ton. And I did not feel like doing it, so I just did I never beat the game. Um, so I need to do it. I'm probably going to wait until Catherine gets around to it, so that I'll be fresh for whenever we're doing a discussion on it. But it's a game that I need to finish. I remember liking it. It just didn't have the same spark that 4 or 5 had. Um, it's a lot longer than those games are, too. Um, it kind of suffered a little bit for me by trying to be a little bit too... It kind of felt a little empty, I think. Like, it had the two explorable worlds, because that was a big thing around that time. Like, it had the dream world and the normal world. It seemed a little bit too much at that point. Okay, so now we can actually go and talk to the pirates. So, um... I believe they're here. Yeah, here they are. Oops. I don't want to talk to the wall. Oh, they're friendly pirates. See? Okay, so yeah, they do have one of the orbs. Um, you have to do something weird in order to get it, I remember. Oh yeah, we'll be doing that later. To the old man in green lad. Okay, yeah, we have to get the a certain. We have to get uh, going. Getting the green lad stuff is uh, is a hassle and a half, if I remember correctly. From Malahan, are you? I've been there several times. It's a real nice place. Oh, thanks. Okay, sure. Well, let's go with that. Okay, so this is actually really funny. Let's say no. We're we're very e we're very e um egalitarian here. You know, a woman can be a pirate queen if she wants to. <laughs> I don't like bootleggers. <laughs> so if we say yeah, oh, aren't you blunt? <laughs> I like that. You know the island of Luzami? It's a little south, then a bit west from here. Oh, we are we're already told uh we already been there. 
So if we beat the e Demon Lord and we talk to her, we get something. So, if I remember correctly, it's in their loot, which is, like, up here. But it's, like... You have to not explore... Uh, if I remember correctly, you have to, like... Not e examine the pots. Is, w if, is if I remember correctly. Or I think you might have had to do it during the daytime. Actually, you know what? This is why we keep the guide open. Because I don't want to waste people's time. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's outside. Okay, now I remember. Okay, sorry. My bad. So basically, you're just expected to search this entire area super thoroughly until... Until you find it. So yeah, you're you're not supposed to do it inside. You're supposed to go like over here. You go up he up here. This is you move the boulder. You find a secret set of stairs. So yeah, your only hint is search everywhere. The boulder is suspicious, I'll grant you that. So anyway, now we get the treasures. We get a strength seed, which is awesome. We get the red orb, which is necessary. <laughs> And we get a punk bracelet, which I'm probably not going to be used. Okay, so we've got three orbs. That's not bad. Um, we don't need you. Um, let's use you on Lara. And put the tiny metal in the back. Yeah, guys, we got that orb in the bag. <laughs> okay. So, now that we've got another orb, let's explore more of South America. Because that just sounds like fun. You know, I never actually got very far in Final Fantasy V. I borrowed a copy from my friend. And this is actually one of the one of those times where I borrowed a copy from a friend and I actually gave the thing back. So I feel very I feel, feel very proud of myself for that one. But I borrowed a copy from a friend. I got... I, I know I, record, I recruited all four characters. But, like... I think I got maybe the second set of job crystals? You get the first two sets pretty quickly. But I got the second set of job crystals, I think. And then you're given a little bit of the overworld to explore. I walked into the desert. And then I fought, like, a chimera or something. That was clearly, like, ten levels higher than what I was supposed to fight. And then I died. So... I decided I'm not... I'm kind of done with this <laughs> after that point. So, yeah. Okay. Let's keep on exploring. Now, these enemies are pretty manageable for the level that I'm at, so... We should be good here. How long have we been going? About an hour and a half. Okay, that's not too... Uh, we're, we can keep on going. I'm in the mood to play more. Um, metal slimes, metal slimes, metal slimes. Oh yeah, you can't equip the you can't equip the poison needle anymore. Ah, come on, come on, don't run away, don't run away, you shits. Oh, I hate you. No. Ah! Oh yeah, today's episode of Dragon Quest Heroes has me getting very enthusiastic about Metal Slimes. <laughs> uh, Catherine doesn't run fast enough to get it, though. Um, RC4000, I'm mid-game. Roughly halfway through. Um, like, I'm just collecting all of the orbs at this point. I believe I've got half of them. Um, there's one left in Newtown. Which is very easy to get. That's quick. Um, there's one that we have to get by doing a whole bunch of different item trading bullshit. Um, and then I think there's just one more and I can't remember that one for the life of me. I'll have to take a look at the uh, guide again for that one. Um, the hell armor looks bad, so I'll take care of you. No, I actually want to bolt the Kongs. Let's actually see if we can put the Kongs to sleep. First member of the DK crew. Oh, 
Oh, they're very susceptible to sleep, as far as I can tell. Awesome. The only problem with that setup, uh, Donkey Kong uh, 75M, is, is that it kind of requires you to lose every battle until you win. You know, um, like, to lose every battle over and over again until you eventually win. And I'm not a huge fan of that in RPG design. You know, that's actually, honestly, one of the big issues with Shin Megami Tensei. Some Shin Megami Tenseis, I should say, is, is that a lot of the time, you don't know how you're supposed to win until you fight the boss, like, three times, figure out what it's weak to, and then rearrange your party about that. That's actually one of the reasons why I really like Devil Survivor, is because since it's a tactical RPG instead of a traditional JRPG, you get to see what every enemy is weak to and is strong against and all of their skills and everything before the battle even starts. So it's all about planning in that game, which I think is great. Um, and uh, Thankfully, games like SMT4 are generally a little bit more forgiving. So the game, you can, if, as long as you have a balanced party configuration, you're usually fine in SMT4. It's not like you need to, to refight most of the bosses over and over until you win. I, when I was playing uh, Apocalypse earlier this uh, last year, I did not lose to a single boss in the entire game until the final boss. Uh, and the final boss is bullshit for a number of reasons, but I did not lose to a single boss in the entire game, uh, at all. Uh, cause Apocalypse was really, really easy, honestly. Um, I think I died once, and that was because, like, I got sleep. I think I was, like, caught in a sleep cycle. Um, like, you know, one of those, oh, you keep on getting put to sleep and, and whatnot. It was, Apocalypse was piss easy up until the final boss, which was just stupid. I wouldn't even say that's hard. That's just unfair to me. So... Yeah, I was not... Uh, Apocalypse... I want to like that game a lot more than I do, but it has issues. It has severe, severe issues. <laughs> oh, Donkey Kong, I... I am not a fan of Devil Survivor 2, actually. It had... Uh, the gameplay is fine, but the the story, I think, is much weaker. And I don't like the characters as much. Um, so I'm not going to discourage you from getting it, but I liked Devil Survivor 1 a lot more than Devil Survivor 2. Hey, Assy! Nice to see you. Okay, plan full HP. Okay, so if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, DQA tomorrow. It's going to be my first time playing. I'm super excited. Okay. No, item, bolt, Kong, cast, sleep. Oh, I'm, I'm so close to 100%ing Overclocked. The only thing I have left is the Super Boss at the end, and I can't beat it. <laughs> I'm just, I get stuck. Well, actually, I've got the Super Boss at the end, and I think I've got, like, one skill that I didn't crack. Um, which I have to do in one of the Naoya fights, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I'm, like, this close to 100%ing Overclock. I've been this close for years, but I just, I can't, I can't beat the final, I can't beat the Super Boss. It's too hard. <laughs> um... I've got, I've grinded all of the, all of the player characters up to 99, but I don't, grinding demons in that game takes forever, because their demon EXP growth is so much slower than player character EXP growth, that it just takes hours to, to level up demons, and I don't think I've got the patience <laughs> for it. I want to do it though, it's on my, it's on my bu bucket list, um, being the super boss and overclocked. I, I want to play the game again, actually. Like, just play a, a fresh file, but if I'm gonna do that, I want to do it after I, after I can, after I've 
beating it 100%, you know? Okay, so we... Oh, I remember. The game's weird about this. So we've explored the entire north, southern half of South America. So now we want to do the northern half. The quickest way to get there would be to sail from Japan. So let's zoom that way. Where is it? Japan. Oh, Zipangu. Okay, sorry, my bad. I believe Japan is the... Um, NES is the... Uh, that's the NES translation, if I remember correctly. Okay. I haven't done a Hyrule Warriors grind fest in forever, but the only reason why... Okay, the only reason why I was able to grind that much in Hyrule Warriors is because I was able to have Catherine to keep me company, basically. And Catherine, oh, she doesn't want to do Hyrule Warriors grind fest lately, because, oh, it's not a game she's played. Oh, man. How dare you not want to watch footage of a game you haven't played before? Jeez. But yeah, um, I haven't been able to get nearly as efficient with grinding since I stopped doing those because, so, yeah, um, I need, basically, for, I would need to have somebody stick with me for that entire thing. So, yeah. Why am I running into these guys on the overworld map? Well, whatever, um. If I do stream it, Sean, I will. I want to do it after I beat DQ. Base is basically what's going on. You know, if I. I would want to beat this game before I move on to a different game. And that's just because I'm so terrible about starting things and never finishing them. That I just. I want to. I want. That's my worst habit, I think. And I want to. I want to change it. So. I just, I want to get better with that, so... Yeah, um... We're beating Dragon Quest first. At the very least, I'm beating Yoshi before I start streaming anything else. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Random battles! The encounter rate's worse at the moment because we're on the hills, but still. I'm very, very particular about getting the map completely filled out in games, so I need to do it. Uh, I'm wishing I ran a thief at the moment, because the thief's tiptoe skill is really, really good. Um... Callum, I'm not sure. I have to think about it. Okay, good. We filled this out. So let's get out of here. Ah, so close. Ah. Metal slide! Come on. If Laura could just critical it, I would be so happy. Or if it just won't run away, that would also make me happy. Ah. You guys are jerks. Um, J-Rush, the original Dragon Quest is, like, the first console RPG. So, if you're interested in kind of, like, playing something archaic for historical purposes, try the original Dragon Quest. It's not going to be the most fun game you'll ever play, but it certainly will be interesting. Um, Dragon Quest 2, I say don't bother. It's... It looks infuriating 
with the the level of difficulty the the late game expects you to put up with with like enemies that can cast no like 100% instant death spells on your entire party no thanks i'm not bothering with that um oh i remember now the middle of the south american continent we have to teleport to if i remember correctly um but yeah um I would say don't bother with uh, 2, but Dragon Quest 3, I'm playing it right now, it's a lot of fun. It is, out of the first three games, it's easily the one that's aged the best. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. It's very open, so if you like non-linear RPGs, this is a good one to try. Um, it's not too hard, uh, is also a good thing. Like, it's, it's certainly no walk in the park, but you can beat it without ripping your hair out at the very least. Anything over here? Oh, sweet, we got a level up. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, since I think we need the boat, I'm going to return to Portoga, especially also so we can uh, rest at the end. But I want to sail west so that I can see the west side of the island. I mean the continent, sorry, my bad. Actually... Okay, we got plenty of herbs. We're buying holy waters. <laughs> I'm just, I'm done with, I'm done with random encounters. For the time being, we're buying holy waters. There we go. That's like, what, 27 repellents? I should be fine. <laughs> I should be fine now. Um... There we go. This should help. At least a little bit. Oof, there is the northern... I, I need to get the Staff of Change in order to get, um... Oh, wait a minute. I remember what I need to do. I need to get... Okay. I need to get the Staff of Change in order to get the Sword of Gaia, and I need to get the Sword of Gaia in order to get to the final area uh, on the overworld. No, I need the Sword of Gaia in order to get the last orb. Okay, there we go. Because one is, um, I think there's actually an orb near where we get the stuff of change? I, I can barely remember at this point. Okay. I, I mo mainly wanted to save, uh, I really wanted to sail down here. Ring Runner, they are fantastic games. I, you really should give them a shot if you have the time. And hey, a new game comes out tomorrow, so, you know, there's never been a better time to get started. Just gonna say. Okay, um, looks like we need to enter in from a different side. 
or are we not allowed to enter in from the other side? Because that seems to be... Yeah, that seems to be the case. All right. Um... Yep, okay. Hold on a moment. Good old guide. Here we go. We've got... We've done that. We've done that. I don't want to bother with that at the moment. The Staff of Change. Yeah, I believe that's what we got to do at the moment. Um... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We need to... We need to go by Traveler's Gate. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay. That's the problem with not having played this game in forever. Okay. So... Let's... Zoom to Sue. Wait, am I unable to sail out of... Is this just like a pond? Oh, no, this is the... No, it's just the... There's just... Okay, well, hold on. I want to heal before I do anything else. And I know there's an inn in here. Alright, we never explored much to the north of Sioux, so let's do that now. And it's mostly mountains, awesome. I do not have a PS4 Robo. Oh, uh, Robo, for the DQ Heroes LP, I use Catherine's PS4. Four. Play four. Callum. Oh, thank god. I forgot these guys can cast Disperse. That's really annoying. If they cast Disperse on you, you have to go all the way back to Eliahan. And if they happen to Disperse the person who knows Return on your team... Actually, I don't know if they can disperse the hero, but, you know, if you don't have return and they do that, then you have to walk all the way back, and that's the worst. <laughs> Yay! Level up. Okay. Antidote. Here we go.
I guess you're just not allowed to cast it in battle for some reason. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we can't get to the north of CU from from here. So it looks like we're going back to Portoga then. All right. Actually, hmm. It might make more sense to do this next time, since it's the start of a pretty big quest. So, since we've been going for an hour and 45 minutes, I know it hasn't been the most exciting episode, but it was just good to get back into it. Um, I think I'm gonna save and call it a day. So, yeah, but it is it was fun to play some DQ before DQA came out, because that game's gonna be great. I'm gonna be playing it all day tomorrow for sure. Um, hopefully I don't blow my load and play through like the whole game in five minutes because that won't be fun um oh we were right by another level up for x that's good oh and see ya too they're both pretty they're both pretty good for in terms of levels okay that's good all right so yeah that was a that was a good stream I think it was good to just get back into the swing of things um yeah thank you everybody for watching it was it was a great time streaming um hopefully I'll be able to do this sooner than I've been able to because I know this project has been going on since like October and I would have thought I'd be done by now but uh yeah um this game is just a lot of fun and hopefully we can stream more later everybody